Hey everyone, it's me again. So now I'm going to do the median nerve. Uh, you might remember the ulnar nerve video I made, uh, but I'm going to show you how to draw the median nerve this time. And maybe if I'm feeling extra in the mood, I will do the radial nerve at some point. But right now, let's just do the median nerve. Okay, so here we go. Median nerve. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera a bunch. Okay, here we go. Pretty simple, just like the other one, draw a straight line down. And I like to do things in groups of four. It makes it easier to remember drawing it. So let's just do one, two, three, four. And this time it's a little different. Just draw a circle here and here. And those are sites of entrapment. And so one, two, three, four. And then you go one, two, three, four. Okay, good. Sorry for shaking the camera. I'm trying to hold it the other way this time. Cause I, uh, so if you watch it on your computer, it's you don't have that like crappy longitudinal view of the camera. Anyway, so it might be a little more shaky, but whatever. Anyway, next is the next four. So one, two, three, four. Okay, and next, okay, so we got that, and then last four. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is your median nerve. So first let's do uh, the upper part of it. So you're going to have pronator terrace, and the potential site of entrapment is basically between the two heads of the pronator terrace. Flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, and flexor digitorum superficialis. And the potential site of entrapment for this one is deep to the FDS. So it's like running underneath. Uh, okay. Next, it branches off the median nerve into the interior interosseous nerve. Um, Alright, and these, the AINs, innervate the FDP, and if you remember from the last one, the ulnar nerve also innervates the FDP for digits 3 and 4. This one is digits, wait, sorry, getting mixed up. This is digits 2 and 3, okay, so FDP 2 and 3. And then flexor pollicus longus, FPL, and then pronator quadratus. And then you're going to have cutaneous branch. This is the palmar cutaneous. And then I'm guessing you might have an idea what this is. This is the carpal tunnel, so the TCL, the transcarpal. Ligament? Yeah, transcarpal ligament. And then what are the, the four carpal bones that it attaches to? It's the, I just do HTP and then PS. So that's hook of handmate, or just the handmate bone. I need to check that again. Either way, handmate, trapezius, um, pisiform, and scaphoid. So it passes underneath that. And, uh, hold on. Oh, and that's a potential site of entrapment as well. So just put a little circle, potential site of entrapment as well. And next you have the common and proper branches. And then here, this little area right here, this is your Thelner compartment. Or sorry, your Thelner reoccurring branch. Reoccurring. It's your well, your Thelner reoccurring. And T, Thelner reoccurring. Shows you how much I know. Um, and what do we have? You have your OP, your your opponus, your APB, 
abductor pollici brevis, flexor pollici brevis, and lumbar coals one and two. And if you remember from the ulnar video, the lumbar coals three and four are on the ulnar. Median is lump of one, two. And that, I think, is about it. Uh, I can't think of anything else. Uh, this is it. You can see my shadow waving to you. Uh, here you go. If you have any questions, just comment or something. All right, thanks.